In the biofeedback practice, vasovagosyncope, fainting, we have to learn more about its triggers and its management so we can deal with it. Because this is something that can happen and will happen in your biofeedback practice, even if you're doing QESP programs. You still have to learn about vasovagosyncope. People get lightheaded, blurred vision, sweating, some nausea, fainting, skin feeling clammy, ringing in the ears. These are the basic things that happen. Now, first off, let's learn about the sympathetic nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. And there is the fight-and-flight system, known as the sympathetic system. And then there's the parasympathetic system, which is involved for our immunity, digestion, relaxation. So we have this constant battle and this constant balance happening between the sympathetic nerves and the parasympathetic nerves. We have to learn all about this and how potassium helps the parasympathetic Calcium helps the sympathetic system. We need to learn all about the adrenal gland and the cholinergic system. And we cover this in more detail. But today we need to recognize that when an imbalance happens, because most of our patients are coming in the door with sympathetic a super innervation, and when we switch them to the parasympathetic, then it can produce a problem in the vagus nerve. And this can produce the vagal vasovagal syncope. Here's the vagus nerve, very large part of the body, very large nerve. It comes out of the neck, runs down into all of the organs. And this nerve sends fibers from the brain to the stomach and then also back from the stomach back to the brain. This is how we communicate with our second brain down there in the gastric area so that we can measure our bowel flora and and all this. This is how bowel flora takes hold of of the system. And when we get an imbalance, the vasovagal syncope, then we get nausea, stress, low body temperature, loneliness, dizziness. We have to be able to look for these, these uh, problems and recognize them. Recognizing also that uh, uh, heart disease, bradycardia, tachycardia, cerebrovascular disease, a host of other diseases can produce these things. Psychiatric disorders, endocrinological hormonal disturbances. So we have to recognize how to deal with this and maybe how to refer to a doctor. And as we're dealing, we have to rule out drugs, alcohol intoxication, hypoglycemia, hypoadrenia. So we have to understand the warning signs and this fainting spell that happens. This is the basal syncope. And sometimes it can be even so extreme that you pass out when you poop. Nobody's test results came back got vasovagal syncope. And that makes you happy? If he's vigorously valsalva, he can activate his reflex and actually lose consciousness. Carla, he'll pass out when he poops. (laughs) Buzz? Donna? Okay, passing out when you poop, that's kind of extreme, but it does happen. Now, when this happens, when the person starts to feel faint, and they get that clammy skin, a little nausea, sweating, etc., you know that they're in a basal-vagal distress, then what can you do? Well, I want to give you some little tips of what to do as you are w- working with. A cold towel over the eyes, a little bit of water on the face. Here's some acupuncture points. And also recognize gentle pressure on the eyes, not open eyes, close the lids, of course. Gentle little bit of pressure will help to stimulate a balance in the, neg- in the vagus nerve recognizing that this is very important, gentle, soft pressure on the eyes. Not too much. It's best to let the patient do this themselves. If you're having this problem on the telephone, tell them just lightly, relax, touch their eyes. Do some belly breathing, by the way. Splashing cold water onto the face activates the kind of dive reflex. Helps to reduce your heart rate. Very, very important. We'll splash of cool water onto the face, even cold water. And this can help to balance the system. Belly breathing. As you breathe in, the belly comes out. Use the diaphragm. Diaphragmic belly breathing. Very important. Here's some acupressure points under the nose and between the eyes. These different spots can help to balance. Cross-crawl techniques. Touch the right knee with the left hand, left knee with the right hand. This also helps to stabilize the brain. There's a host of different research about this. And, and research that even shows that our machine, with a little bit of stimulation, can balance the 
vasovagal response. And people oftentimes will have this. A little bit of water. Ask them to have a little bit of cool water. And that could be usually a prevention also as well. And recognizing that there's a host of literature, we cover this in more detail in some of our other courses. But you could start to learn about how to control the vasovagal system. And if there is a time where there is a fainting spell called syncope. And recognize in our new machine, we have the vagus nerve device that could stimulate and balance the vagus nerve. This is very important for patients who have difficulty between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. So as we learn more about this, we can see the triggers and find ways to get our patients out of it.